Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll see what are explicit cursor. The previous tutorial, we have already seen what is uh, implicit cursors. So explicit cursors are the cursors that has been created by the users for uh, processing multiple records. So you can avoid, the, as I said in the previous tutorial, you can avoid the multiple records uh, or the too many rows error using this explicit cursor. So the implicit cursors will not have a name associated with it. Whereas this e these um, explicit cursor will have a name associated with it. So the how to create an implicit cursor is first you have uh, one is the declare section. In this declare section you will be uh, uh, giving the uh, cursor name. Then you will be using an open uh, you know command to use uh, to open the cursor then finally you'll be using a uh, command called fetch this will be uh, this fetch will act like a pointer uh, to fetch the records from your uh, table and finally you uh, once all all the process is done you'll be using this close um, command to close the cursor so the explicit cursors are um, represented with uh, these four commands first you'll be uh, declaring uh, using uh, in this uh, declare uh, section and then you will be using this open command to open the cursor once the ca uh, cursor is open uh, a pointer will be uh, you know set at the first record so the, the records are fetched um, using the loops then um, finally you will be closing the cursor once the program is done so this is uh, how you will be uh, you know mentioning the explicit cursor name so uh, let us uh, see the attributes that are uh, present in the explicit cursor so if you go back to my uh, no if you have seen my implicit cursor uh, tutorial you would have known like what are the attributes that are uh, present in the implicit cursor like sql percentage found sql percentage not found then sql percentage open we knew that for uh, implicit cursor the sql percentage open will always be false because this has been controlled by the oracle engine and uh, not by the user whereas um, coming to this explicit cursor um, attributes there are uh, uh, same uh, the, the attributes will uh, symbol the same but just you need to mention the uh, you know cursor name just uh, say i am um, for example my if my cursor name is something like cur underscore name then percentage open is one attribute uh, if you you know uh, go back to the implicit cursor it was like SQL percentage open so there it was SQL because we didn't have any name for the implicit cursor whereas for explicit we mentioned some name right so just mention the name and then percentage open so this will return true if the cursor is open or else false so then we have uh, cur the score name percentage found so this will return true if the previous uh, SQL statement is, uh, uh, you know, is executed successfully, then we have a cur underscore name percentage not found. So this will uh, this will return um, true if the uh, previous uh, you know previous SQL statement didn't uh, uh, return or execute uh, successfully. Then finally we have uh, something called. Uh, uh, underscore name percentage row count so this will uh, give you the uh, you know return the number of records that been fetched so far from the previously executed SQL query so these are the uh, four uh, attributes that are uh, available in our explicit cursor so if you compare the explicit and implicit you will you know if you know about implicit then you will have an idea how this explicit will work so let us uh, go, you know, um, go go and see one of the program and see how it will uh, get executed. So here uh, you can see I have already written a program. So let me increase the font size here. So if you see, I have first um, I have in the declare section. You can see I have um, declared a cursor. To declare a cursor, just say cursor the keyword then the cursor name you can give any name you want then declare cursor cursor name then is 
then I'm giving an SQL query. Then my query is just that I'm selecting the uh, employee name and salary from the employee table where um, department number is. Uh, the department number is an um, keyboard uh, input value. So my user will be giving this input. That is what this means. So then uh, finally I'm uh, declaring two variables that is VNM and VSAL. So this you might be knowing like um, the data type is fetched from the you know uh, from the table tables data type only this also I have explained in my previous tutorial then um, so this is what the declare section does first I am um, you know uh, giving my um, cursor cursor name then I am is I am saying and I am giving the query my query is just fetching the e-name and salary from the employee table where department number is equal to it, the um, department number is fetched from the keyboard then I am declaring two variables that's it then in the begin section I am in as soon as the begin section um, I am saying open the cursor name that is the cursor should open we are like explicitly opening the cursor we are saying open the cursor name we are not using a keyword cursor here please remember we are just saying open the cursor name then inside the loop what I am doing is I am going to fetch if I simply use the fetch then it will just fetch me one record as fetch acts like a pointer it needs to keep on fetching until the records are completed right for that I am using this um, looping so within the loop I am saying fetch um, the I am giving the cursor name into we need some variables we need some holders right to carry the data so these are my holders vnm and vsal so i'm saying fetch cur employee the cursor name into that is my variable names are one is my which holds the employee name other one which holds the salary name so that is what i'm saying i'm saying cur employee into v name and vsal then exit when the cur underscore i'm giving the cursor name percentage not found it should exit only the loop should end only when the the num records are uh, not found when it is empty and finally i'm displaying i'm using the DM, dbms output put line for and i'm displaying the name uh, that is my employee name and salary uh, in the final step i'm using this uh, another uh, attribute that is cur underscore employee percentage row type which will return the number of uh, records that's been fetched then i'm ending the loop then finally i'm closing make sure that you're closing the cursor when you open a cursor you need to close the cursor so you to close also you uh, just mention close then the cursor name then end that's it so let us uh, execute this query execute this program sorry so paste yeah uh, here I'll give the department name as something like 20 you can see that uh, Smith and the salary is getting returned then one Jones the salary two so this is returning the one two and all are the row count uh, as we are using that attribute current underscore name percentage row count that's why you are getting all these uh, you know number of record that's been fetched so this is what is about explicit uh, cursor even you can use this uh, you know for the current underscore employee row count at the end so that you will have a final uh, count like how many records has been um, fetched We'll just run this and see how the output is. Say 20. So you can see if, uh, Smith, all the Smith salary, the names and the salary are there. And finally, you can see that five, that is five records has been fetched. That is what this current score employee percentage row count attribute will return. It will return the um, number of uh, records that is fetched so far from the previously executed SQL query. So this word is about explicit um, cursors. Hope uh, you, you all have understood. If there are any queries, then let me know. Please do mail me to plsql.informatica.gmail.com and um, please do subscribe and like my videos and thank you very much for watching.